Hello class, today I'm gonna show you a very simple way to do nail design. It's called foil gel nail art. In this video, I'm gonna use super sticky foil gel to do design. First, we just apply regular extreme base and then you can have regular gel or you can have a new set as acrylic, dip or gel extensions. Your nails can be long, can be medium, can be short, can be any shape that you want. Wherever you want to apply the design, just go ahead and create a background first. After you apply base, let cure it for 60 seconds under the lamp. Next, apply for your gel super sticky formula. Because this design, I'm gonna do full nails with print, so I'm not doing any color background. Please do not apply super sticky for your gel by itself without a base. It will create wrinkles or bumbies, or it won't stick and create heat strike on natural nails. Now cure 60 seconds under the LED lamp. The first design I'm gonna do full print. You can choose lace, cheetah print, whatever design you want to create. I chose this design because I want to show you how to recognize which one is the correct side to apply it on. When you see a transfer foil paper, when you scratch and that part is kind of scrapable and peeled off the polish, which means that is the right side for you to apply on top of the nail. For a see-through design like this, this is how you recognize the right one to apply it on. Now I call inside and outside. You apply the inside on top of the nail and the outside is the shiny part. That is how you apply is correct. You can also recognize by the way they rolled it. If you make mistake, just flip it and redo it. You can use your finger to symbol press around the corner of fingernail to make sure the design is attached on top. After cure 60 seconds, the foil gel now transfer to be a double-sided tape. That's how you peel off the transfer foil to create the design. Sometimes if you peeled off, and you see it's not completely stick on the nail which means that corner you missing now i show you do not peel off the paper because you peel off it's hard for you to put back and do the same pattern keep rubbing until you peel up and see the design stay see now you see the design is completely stay look like i didn't press the side so firmly now i'm gonna go back and press this make sure all the pattern of the design is stick on top of the nails one two three the moment of true Ta -da! now i have a wonderful beautiful design and look at you see nothing left on the paper and we have completely done the design in the second if you just want a full nail design like that now it's time for diamond top coat to protect the design and heat it for 60 seconds. After 60 seconds, the top coat dry and you are done with the design. But if you want to tint it or do some extra design on top of this print, absolutely you can. Now I'm going to tint that with a bloody red. You can tint with any color that you have, yellow, green, orange, any color. After I tint it, let dry under the lamp for 60 seconds. Look at this sexy red lace nails. It's so beautiful and so simple. Next design, we're gonna change the style to half nails, not full nail anymore. You can do any color background that you like. You can do black, white, cat eye, neon, ombre, whatever color background that you would like or customer show you in the pictures, your imagination and do a background. I have a super black over here, so I would do a super black background. This one coat gel color will save me a lot of time. I don't have to double coat it because one coat is well covered already. Here's super black for 60 seconds under LED lamp. Now I'm going to use diamond top coat to protect the colors. Oh yes, you heard me. I have to protect the color by diamond top coat because yeah, we're gonna do half nail foil design. This technique will help you from being messy. You know why? If you don't protect it and then apply directly super sticky foil gel and then apply foil paper, you create a big mess. Let's cure this 60 seconds and I will show you. Now we're gonna use foil gel super sticky formula apply in the middle of the nail so that is where I want the trend for foil design nail art. Now you kinda understand why I have to apply diamond top coat before I apply transfer foil glue because the reason is when I apply the foil, the foil just stick on wherever I apply the glue. 
it won't stick on the top coat. Sometimes customers tell me, hey, I just use alcohol to wipe it instead of to apply top coat to avoid the thickness. Of course you can, but you know, when you wipe it like that, you kind of take off a little bit of the nail color layer. So the color looks lighter. So it's up to you, you can apply the top coat or you can wipe it with alcohol before you apply the glue. So the transfer paper won't stick on wherever you don't need it. So you don't have to clean up with the acetone and brush. If you want to add on other stickers or design butterflies, lines anything that you like you can apply now let's add a little bit glitter gel over here to make it bling bling here 60 seconds under the lamp and then ready for a diamond top coat to make it shiny and protect the design one notice I want to share with you guys because with white background we have to be a little bit more careful with transfer foil or super sticky formula if you use on white background if you do full nail that's fine you apply the foil on then it will cover it but if you just want to use it to stick on some sequin or some glitters, just some spot around the nail, not the full nail cover, then you don't have to apply the full nail with super sticky foil glue. Just apply the glue on wherever you want to add the butterfly sequin, snowflake, or leaf. That's it. Then you don't tint your background white into a little bit yellowish look. Yes, keep watching. I will show you what I mean. Let's cure this for one minute. This we call it sequins. So here I have shape of the butterflies. Really beautiful. Usually before, we cannot apply this on regular base coat or top coat because it won't stay in shape. Also lift up so you know customer nail catch hair, clothes, peel up easily. Only technician know how to do acrylic or dipping would know how to use this to encapsulate. But now we can do this with this super sticky foil glue gel. Now I use a tweezer to curve a little bit to fit in the natural curved nail shape so it won't flip up. Because I have a white background so I'm going to use foil gel super sticky formula to apply wherever I want to add the butterfly on only. After that we're going to keep under the lamp for 60 seconds. After 60 seconds the foil glue already dry, I apply the butterfly sequin on top of it. I gently place the butterfly sequin on top first. After I'm happy with where it is, I'm gonna firmly press down to make sure all the sequin is fit in and nicely covered, no lift up. Now you see, it's well covered, no lifting up. Then we apply extreme base to protect the design again. Yes, not top coat yet because the sequin is kinda thick. So I want to apply base one more time to kinda cover, seal it up before I apply top coat. If you wanna decorate something else, you can add on like me. I add on some green stone to make it bling out more. After you're happy with the design, then you can do top coat around the stones. Now let's look how cute it is. One more trick I want to show you with the foil design is you can do ombre design with foil print. For example, you have lace, snake skin, python skin, flowers, anything you want to do ombre. Like before, we have to do this technique and then we do ombre powder on top. So this now I will show you on GLQX quick extension. You can do this design really simple. First. The tip, I already applied the foil glue and key under the lamp for 60 seconds. I get the design and now I'm going to seal that with extreme base coat and key under the lamp for another 60 seconds. Now we're going to use matte top coat from the Q specially for ombre. This matte top coat is very clean, velvet, no wrinkles, no bum, no shiny. So we can create the ombre really easy. Key matte top coat for one minute. This matte top coat also hold up the pigment really well. So when you do ombre and when you clean with the dust brush, the ombre still stay there. It's not fading away. Some other matte top coat, when you apply the ombre pigment like this, it will stay. But when you clean it, the color is fading away. So annoying. And repeating applying many times, it makes the nail look thick and chunky. Ombre pigment I use is nail ombre pigment. It's not eyeshadow because it gives you a solid look. Really nice and really quick. Some customers tell me it looks like eyeshadow palette from the store. But I don't recommend putting this on face because our skin is very sensitive. And this is nail pigment for ombres so I don't know maybe they put nail glue or something in there to make the powder stay 
or absorb on the mat better. So if you use on your skin, it can cause any skin allergies happen. We would not recommend it this. After I done, I protect the ombre with extreme base again to make sure the base is staying nice and won't chip away. Let cure this for 60 seconds and then apply diamond top coat to protect the design and make it shiny last longer. Here is multiple ways that I use foil gel to create different kind of nail art. I hope you like and enjoy my video. If you have questions about any product that I use to create the design, please comment down and let me know. I would like to know where you watching me from. Say hello to me in your language and I see you in the next video.